What if I told you that the largest attack on a European country since World War II began with a simple desire for closer ties with the European Union? It's a question that takes us back to the roots of the Russo-Ukrainian War, a conflict that has shaken the world and redefined borders. To understand the ignition of this conflict we must travel back to Ukraine's ambition to join the European Union and NATO. This desire was seen by Russia not as a step towards prosperity for Ukraine, but as a threat to its own security. The tension between the two nations began to simmer, gradually intensifying over time. In 2014 Russia took a decisive step that would further strain the relationship. It annexed Crimea from Ukraine, sparking a wave of international outcry. But the annexation was just the beginning. Russia began to support pro-Russian separatists in the Donbas region, adding fuel to the already burning fire. As the ties that once held these two nations together started to unravel, so did any semblance of peace. The strained relationship, the annexation of Crimea and the support for separatists all served as the kindling for a conflict that was about to explode. As tensions escalated, a full-scale war was on the horizon, changing the geopolitical landscape forever. A war that would not only reshape the map of Europe, but also send shockwaves around the world. The spark of conflict had ignited, setting the stage for a battle that would go down in history. On February 24, 2022, the unthinkable happened. Russia invaded Ukraine. The stage was set with Russian troops amassing near Ukraine's borders, a sight that filled the world with a sense of impending doom. Despite the ominous signs, Russian officials denied any plans for an attack. That was until Russian President Vladimir Putin announced a special military operation to support the Russian-backed breakaway republics of Donetsk and Luhansk. This was not a simple border skirmish, it was a full-scale invasion. Russian airstrikes and ground invasions were launched from multiple fronts including Belarus, Crimea, and the Donbas region. The invasion resulted in significant casualties with tens of thousands of Ukrainian civilians and hundreds of thousands of military personnel affected. This led to a massive displacement of people, both internally and externally, and caused extensive environmental damage, contributing to global food crises. The war, however, was not a one-way street. Ukraine enacted martial law and ordered a general mobilization in response. Despite the overwhelming force, Russian troops faced logistical challenges and strong resistance on the northern front, leading to their retreat by April 2022. But this retreat did not signal the end of the invasion. Russia captured Kherson in March and Mariupol in May after a destructive siege on the southern and southeastern fronts. They continued to bomb military and civilian targets far from the front line, including the energy grid. In the face of this aggressive advance, Ukraine proved resilient. They launched successful counter-offensives in the south and east leading to the illegal annexation of four partly occupied regions by Russia. Ukraine retook parts of Kherson Oblast including the city of Kherson in November. In June 2023 Ukraine launched another counter-offensive in the southeast. The war has not been one-sided with Ukraine launching successful counter-offensives, yet the cost has been devastating. Fast forward to today, what is the state of the Russo-Ukrainian war? The conflict rages on, punctuated by Russia's illegal annexation of four partly occupied regions and Ukraine's relentless counter-offensives. The war has become a grueling endurance test, a battle of resilience and resolve, with each side doggedly holding their ground. In the global arena the response has been unanimous, a chorus of condemnation against Russia's actions. Countries far and wide have imposed sanctions on Russia and Belarus, putting pressure on their economies in a bid to curb their aggressive tactics. The world watches, united in its stand against the invasion, as aid flows into Ukraine, supporting the country in its time of need. But it's not just about economic sanctions and aid. The International Criminal Court has opened investigations into possible crimes against humanity, war crimes, abduction of children, and genocide. A stark reminder of the horrific toll the war has taken on the innocent. As we step into 2024, the Russo-Ukrainian war remains a grim reminder of the devastating effects of geopolitical tensions. It's a conflict that has left deep scars, a testament to the human cost of power struggles and territorial disputes. As the world watches on, the hope for a peaceful resolution continues to hang in the balance. 